this video I'm going to show you a couple of ways to add an image with a caption and a hyperlink in Google Docs. It's a little different in a Google Doc than it is in a Google Slides presentation because you don't have a text box tool for just putting text underneath an image. So the first method that I'd like to show you is to use the table tool to do your image with text and a hyperlink. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on insert and then I'm going to go down to table and I'm just going to click a single box or table just like this. Now don't worry about the width at the moment let's go and get our image first. So my cursor is blinking inside the table I'm going to go up here and click on insert and then image. I'm going to go over to search and just like I discussed in the Google Slides video, we want to use images that we have permission to use. So clicking on the search inside the insert image tool will bring us to a Google search that specifically looks at results that are labeled for reuse. So I'll click in my search for Sarnia. And then I'm going to select my picture of the Blue Water Bridge. Remember this link over here is the link to the actual website where the picture is found. If I were to click on it, it would take me to the website and then somewhere on this page, here it is, is where that image is located. I'm going to right click on the image or on the link and click copy link so that I have it ready to go once I create my caption. Now I've inserted the image and I'm probably going to want to resize it so I'm going to grab the corners and bring that down. And now I can resize the table by just clicking over on the side when it gives me the handles there like this and now that text or the table is the same size as my image. I'm going to put my cursor inside of the text box and this is where I'm going to write my caption. So blue water bridge. Now that I have my caption I can highlight the text, click on the insert link icon, and then come down and right click and paste the link, which will turn it blue. And if I click on the caption and then click on the link, it will take me directly to the page where the image is located. Another method for inserting an image with a caption but without the hyperlink is to use the drawing tool. So I can click on insert and then go to drawing. Now I'm going to click on the image icon and I'll do a search for Sarnia again and I'll select my image. I could copy this link like I did before and there is a way to make the whole image linked but it doesn't work as nicely as it does in the first example. So I'm going to click select and now the image is here and I'm going to resize it. And then to put a caption beneath it I click on the text box tool which is similar to what we did in the Google Slides video. But you'll notice that this time I can't highlight the text and insert a link. Because this is a drawing tool, it's going to combine both the picture and the words into a single image. You'll see what I mean now when I click Save and Close. So here we have an example of the image with the caption and they're linked together so that when I resize the image, both the words and the image resize at the same time. And if I use the wrap text option, I'm able to drag that image anywhere on the page, which can be a nice feature when you are uh, creating a research report. You'll notice that the table isn't as flexible for moving around. In fact, I just kind of made it harder to read. So there are two examples of how you can create an image with a caption, the first one being an image with a caption that is hyperlinked.